hey welcome once again to the video three so if you didn't see the other video please go and check it there out so that you can understand this second this third video i think it's the third one so that you can understand on what is going on and what is happening so in the previous video we created an api user on the documentation here when you click sandbox when you click sandbox and you scroll here down uh after creating an api user what next we need to do i will uh, we will create an it's an api api key we'll create an api key first now we need to create an api key so here this is where you will get the documentation and information for what you should do so that you can get the api key you can create the api key so you can see here i have I have a this is where you, what you need to have in order to create an API key so an API key this is the request URL for an, creating an API key these are all the requested parameters and the requested header then the response that when you get to one it means that you have created an API user successful so here I have already created uh, what you need to be done according to the documentation using PHP and what you need now here you it, you see you need a secondary key so i'm going to uh, rearrange this so that it can make sense because here creating an api key it means that you need to have uh, you need to ha have secondary key so this is what you need from the previous video so in order to get the secondary key what i'm actually going to do i'm going to create here something called configs configs.php then uh what i'm going to do i'm going to create what i need in uh, in in every tutorial so that i can access it from different files so uh do this then come here to create api user the first one that we did then do this copy this uh then uh, then just write it as a config here so that i can access it from this so in the api key user i'm going to get uh, i'm going to include config include config file which is that one uh, include config files then i'm going to take this then include the config files here also let me do this let me copy this then i include the config file here on create api so let's close this close this now here it's where you include the config file so that you can access the secondary key which the secondary key we are going to use it here so because we have already handled the errors and uh i've already handled the errors let me do this first so that you can understand so here it's where i have created let's do this and see the response so oh, call call so let's echo this response and see what we will do what we'll get mm, a successful response should have this should have this so let me uh, do this a successful response should have an api key if it is successful so let me click here at create api key and let it do it so you can see undefined reference id so this means that you still need to include the uh, the, re the reference id which you created here on uh, which you created here while creating an api user so it means this file i need also to to include it on my create api key so include in, include sorry include include api key user so that i can access the reference id uh, so let's come and test it again yeah yeah now you see an api api user created successful i don't know this is the reason why it's giving me this is because uh, i have not commented this 
I've not commented this because here it's working perfectly so I don't need to handle the error so that I can get the response of creating an API key. So when I reload this is here now my API key has been created successful which means my API key is this so we need to get the API key so that we can access it using uh, we can you can access it while if we need it from different files so in order to get an API key I need to uncomment what I had commented before here so you can see let me remove this echo echo response then I'm going to remove this and remove check uh, that's a comment then I'm going to do this then remove this remove also this this then the closing then the if else statement so here I have decoded the response which the response is this I've decoded the response then then after decoding the response I have accessed this this key which I want to access the value which is in the key so this is how also let us test it if we will get this API key we'll get this API key here this one so let's echo this echo this or let's do this let's do this I'm going to echo API key generated successful or API key is this so that I can access this API key so what will be echoed here it means that's the API key which has been is on this variable called API key so let's reload and get our API key here mm, let it load now you see API key is this so it means we have we have an, we have created the API key successful so that's what we needed to do in this video so see you in the next video bye